Welcome to my lecture online. And now for the last type in this particular playlist, notice that all of these types of word problems are linear type of word problems or they give us linear equations. There'll be additional word problems later in a different playlist when we're dealing with quadratic equations. But at least these all apply to linear equations. And the last type deals with investments. And our first example has three different kinds of investments, stocks, bonds, and securities, which earn 5%, 3%, and 6%. And we're told that Jimmy invests $200 more than twice as much money in stocks than in bonds, and $500 less than twice as much in securities than in stocks. If he earns a total of $744, how much did he invest in each? So again, we're going to start with let x equal something. In this case, we're going to let it represent the amount we invest. In this case, we want to let x equal the amount we invest in the where he invests the least amount. And it looks like bonds is the where he invests the least amount. So we're going to let x equal the number of dollars, the amount invested in bonds. Now we're going to let something represent the amount we invest in stocks. And it, we're told that it's $200 more than twice as much as in bonds. So 200 more is plus 200. And twice as much would be 2x. So 200 more than twice as many as we invest in bonds is invested in stocks. So the amount invested in stocks. And finally, we need to represent, in terms of X, how much we invest in securities. And now we're comparing it to the amount we invest in stocks. It says $500 less than twice as much as is invested in stocks. So 500 less would be minus 500. And twice as much would be 2 times 2X plus 200. Because that's the amount that's invested in stocks. So 500 less and twice as much as is invested in stocks is the amount invested in securities. All right, now we're ready to come up with an equation. The total amount of money earned from bonds, the total amount of money earned from stocks, and the total amount of money earned from securities together should add up to 744. So how do you express how much you earn in each? Well, you simply multiply the amount invested times the rate. So in this case, the amount invested times the rate for bonds would be 3%, that's the rate at which it's invested, times the amount invested in bonds, which would be X. Plus, for stock, it would be 5%, that's how much is earned with stock, times the amount invested in stock, which is 2X plus 200. And finally, the amount that we earn, 6% is the rate at which we earn money on securities, Multiply times this whole thing right here, which is 2 times 2x plus 200 minus 500, which is the amount invested in securities, and that adds up to the total amount of money that we earned. So this is the amount of money we earn on bonds, the amount of money we earn on stocks, and the amount of money we earn on securities. The rate times the amount is the amount that you earn. Well, first we want to get rid of the percentages. So, with other words, if we multiply both sides by 100, percents are turned into numbers. So, multiply the right side by 100 and multiply the left side by 100. So, we're going to apply that to the 3, the 5, and the 6%. When we do that, we get the following. We get 3x plus 5 times 2x plus 200 plus six times everything that's inside the bracket, which is two times 2x plus 200, minus 500, and that adds up to 100 times this, which is 744 with two zeros, 74,400. Now we need to get rid of the parentheses and the brackets. So that gives us 3x plus five times two and five times plus 200, that's 10x plus 1,000 plus six times, here we have two times two x, which is four x, plus two times 200, which is 400, minus 500, which is equal to 74,400. Okay, simplifying this a little bit more, we can combine these two already, that would be 13 x 
plus 1,000 plus 6 times 4x minus 100 equals 74,400. And finally, getting rid of the brackets, we end up with 13x plus 1,000 plus 24x minus 600 equals 74,400. Now we can move all the x's to one side, while well, they're already on the left side, and all the numbers to the other side. So we end up with 13x plus 24x is equal to 74,400. Moving the 1,000 across becomes minus 1,000. Moving the minus 600 across becomes plus 600. So that means we get 37x is equal to, the 400 disappears, 74,000. And you can see that if we divide both sides by 37, we get x equals 2,000. So let me go over here, finish it up over here. So x equals 2,000. And now we go back and see how much we invested in each. X is the amount invested in bonds, so we, we invested $2,000 in bonds. 200 more and twice as much. Twice as much as 4,000 plus 200 would be 4,200 is invested in stocks, and 500 less than twice as much as that, so twice as much as 8,400 minus 500 would be $7,900 is invested in securities. Now we need to check to make sure we did this correctly by multiplying the amount invested times the rate. So we're going to check. So for bonds, we have 2,000 at a rate of 3%. So 3% of 2,000, that would be equal to $60. So he earned $60 in bonds. What about stocks? We have a total of $4,200 invested in stocks, and it's invested at 5%. Right, so 5% of this, that would be half of that, that's $210 earned in stock. And now securities. So we have a total of $7,900. And multiply it times 6%. So that was 8,000, would be 480, that would be 474. Now together, that should add up to the total amount of $744. Let's see if that's correct. So we have four, six, seven, that's four, one, that's seven. Yes, indeed, we have a total of $744 earned. It looks like we did this correctly. So in other words, Investing 2,000 in bonds, 4,200 in stock, 7,900 in securities, that will then add up to a total of earned of $744 at the appropriate rates. And that's how it's done.